Hey everybody, it's Mr. Gustin back in the physics classroom. Right now we are working on worksheet number four, our introduction to FNET problems using Newton's second law, or F equals MA. On uh, the first problem of worksheet four, we have this whole set of information here that is excellent. It kind of sets up a problem for us. It gives them some key concepts. It gives us a general problem solving process, which is fantastic. It's stuff we've been working on, but it's kind of laid out for us right there. And then it gives us a question. It gives us a, uh, it gives them some questions, A, B, C, D, and E, in order to solve something about this problem. All right, so let's first look at the problem. All right, it says it's a snowy day and the students are home from school. Folks, I don't think that's ever gonna happen again, in all honesty, right? Like, if we're doing Zoom right now, snow days are like not gonna happen anymore, which is kind of sad, teardrop, but like, you know, this is kind of an old problem, I guess. Snowy day, kids are home from school. Person pulls kids on a sled. How far does the sled travel in four seconds? That's the question we're trying to answer. How far does it travel in four seconds? If the kids in the sled have a combined mass of 80 kilograms, the string makes an angle. I'm gonna write these numbers down over here actually. Okay, so I'm looking for uh, change in X equals question mark, time equals four seconds, the mass of the sled, is 80 kilograms. Um, string makes an angle of 20 degrees. That's labeled. Father pulls with a force. Force of father is equal to 300 newtons at 20 degrees. Uh, and the coefficient of kinetic friction, or mu k, is equal to 0.35. Got it, those are all my knowns that come out of that problem. That marker's pretty much dead. Uh, all right, here we go. General, so we're gonna use this information to solve this problem. General problems, so this is what we've been doing the whole time. Basically what this says is that you're gonna draw an FBD or a force model. From that force model, you're gonna write an F net X and an F net Y equation. You'll determine if there are balanced forces. If there are balanced forces, my F net is zero. If there are unbalanced forces, my F net, you now know, is equal to mass times the total acceleration in that direction. All right? Lastly, then we'll start plugging stuff in. We'll use mg for weight. We'll use mu times Fn for friction. And we'll use some symmetry things to figure out other forces if we're not given them. Okay? Lastly, we'll solve for our unknown. We'll solve for our displacement at a, a time equals four seconds. Okay? I'm going to scroll down. Let's work through this problem step by step together, OK? First, it asks us to draw a free body diagram, the force model of the children on the sled. Here we go. Children on the sled. There's this. First force. They're on Earth. There's FG. They are being pulled with a force. We call this the father force up there. Of course, the ground is supporting them with a normal force, and there is a force of friction kinetic. They're sliding across. Notice Fn is not equal to Fg. I made that clear because there's more than one force in the upward direction there. There's the father force and the normal force, so both of those upward forces should balance out Fg. That's part one, or part A. Part B. What forces are acting in the x direction? Well, part B, the forces in the x direction, uh, let's see, there's the force of friction, kinetic. There's also this force, force of father in the x direction. Force father, x. Are they balanced? Well, the question is, are they balanced? The real question is, is the object accelerating in the x direction? Um, yeah, I think so. I think so. How do I know? Doesn't the problem tell me that they are accelerating? Let's see. Um, how far does it go in four seconds? Yeah, I would assume they're accelerating if he's pulling them across the ground. It doesn't appear. Uh, or he doesn't appear to be pulling them at a constant velocity. He doesn't tell me he's pulling them at a constant velocity. 
nothing about constant velocity. So I'm going to have to assume they're accelerating. I cannot assume, assume that they are zero. So I would say unbalanced. What forces are in the y direction? That's part C. In the y direction, we've got the weight force, we have the normal force, and we have the father force in the y direction, which is right here. F father in the y. Are these, are these balanced or unbalanced? This one, I'm pretty sure that they are balanced because it is not accelerating in the uh, vertical direction. So that one I'm pretty confident they are totally balanced in that direction. All right, part D, what is the net force in the x direction? What is the net force in the x direction? Well, the net force in the x direction, if it's unbalanced, is like, hmm, hmm, I don't know, it must be MA. Right, it must be MA. So let's go ahead, and for part D, net force in the X direction, here's what the net force is. F net in the X direction equals the mass times the acceleration, which is equal to the sum of all the forces. I'm gonna call it the, the right positive, the force the father applies in the X direction, minus the force of friction kinetic. This is my F net, in the x direction. In the y direction, we said that they were balanced. So because they're balanced, I know that F net in the y direction is zero newtons. There's no acceleration there. What forces are acting in my y direction? Well, upward, I'll call upward positive. We have Fn plus the force of the father in the y direction minus the weight force. These are our two different net force equations. Now it says list and calculate the value of all the forces in your diagram. List and calculate the forces. Well, I have my forces here. I'm going to create a list over here so that I can calculate. So let me, I'm going to rearrange this a little bit so we can kind of solve this thing. Let me, let me, let me rearrange this. These are my forces here. Let's list them. I'll list the forces over here. We have Fg, uh, force of, um, let's keep these organized. Fg and Fn, those are in my y direction. And then in my x direction, I've got, uh, force of friction. Because I know that the father force is equal to 300 newtons. That's already given to me. I'm just looking for these additional three forces over there, okay? So I'll show you those over there. Those are the additional forces I'm looking for. Well, let's start, right? Let's start. One thing we always know a couple of equations that we always know, is that Fg is always equal to m times g. So we can quickly solve for Fg. We know that there was an 80 kilogram sled, and that 80 kilogram sled is on Earth, so times 9.8 meters per second squared. That will give us Fg. Fg should be equal to 80 times 9.8, roughly 800, I think it's gonna be 798. 80 times 9.8. 784. 784 newtons is the gravity force. I'm going to add it to my list. 784 newtons. 
Got it. Let's plug it into an equation now. I'm sorry, let's look at the father force first. The father in the y direction. Well, the father in the y direction, if I quickly sketch out my model again, is this component right here. That's, that's what I'm looking for. I know this angle to be 20 degrees. It's the opposite side, so I'm going to be using sine, sine theta. Okay? So let's find the father force in the y direction. Three hundred newtons, which is this force, the total force, times sine of twenty degrees. It's about a hundred and three. About 103 newtons here for that force. Now, that's not a force that exists by itself in our diagram, so we're not going to add it to our list, but we're going to need it to solve this expression up here. Okay? Let's go ahead and solve that expression up here. I'm going to move it over here just so we can see it. Remember, F net in the y direction is zero, which is equal to the normal force, plus the father force in the y direction which is 103 newtons, minus my weight force, which is 784 newtons. Eighty-four newtons. You can solve for the normal force here. You can solve this expression to find out that the normal force is actually equal to Six hundred and eighty one newtons. There you go. Right here, six hundred and eighty one newtons is the normal force. Okay? That's on my list over there. I have solved for all forces in the y direction. I feel really good about it. Let's go over to our F net X. Let's figure out the rest of it. I'm going to erase this. You can finish writing this down or obviously pause, but I'm going to erase this. The only force in the x direction that I need to find is the force of friction. And again, we still don't know. Is this dad pulling the children? Is the, are they speeding up or is it a constant velocity? We don't know. I don't know what the acceleration is. I don't know if there even is an acceleration. So I need to find a different way to come up with force of friction in, uh, kinetically. If only there was a fun equation I could use to figure out the force. Wait a second. The fun equation. We can write the fun equation. Force of friction kinetic is equal to mu kinetic times the normal force. Did we know the normal force? Did we find the normal force? Yeah. Yeah, we did. It's 681. We used the y direction to find the normal force so that we could use this equation right here. Do I know? the uh, coefficient of kinetic friction? Yeah, you do. It's 0 0.35. Folks, here it is. The force of friction kinetically is equal to 0 0.35 times the normal force that we just found in the y direction, 681 newtons. It looks like the force of friction kinetically is equal to 0 0.35 times 681, 200 and let's call it 38. 238 newtons is the force of friction as it slides. 238 newtons. Got it. Yes. Yes. All right. So I've listed all the forces here. I've solved for them all. I use fun equations. I use the F net equations for x and y directions. Let's answer the original question now. In order to figure out how far the father moves these kids, we have to figure out if there is acceleration happening. Let's look back and see if there actually is acceleration happening. F net in the x direction equals m times a is going to be equal to the force of the father 
in the x direction minus the force of friction kinetic. So do I know the force of the father in the x direction? Yeah, it's just the other side of this triangle. I know that it's going to be the 300 newtons the father is applying times cosine of 20 degrees minus the 238 newtons of force being applied by friction. All right, well, let's find out. 300 cosine of 20 is equal to 281. So now I can write this, MA equals 281 newtons minus the 238 newtons of friction. It turns out this is actually accelerating. It totally is. Uh, I'm gonna call it 28. I'm gonna call it 282 actually. Sorry, I rounded wrong. 282. I get 44 newtons is my net force. Remember, the kids have a mass of 80 kilograms. It turns out my acceleration is equal to. 0.55 meters per second squared. The reason I have all of this is because if I'm going to talk about distance, if I'm talking about how far something travels in a certain amount of time, that should make your physics brain go ding, ding, ding. That's kinematics. Distance and time, acceleration, distance and time is totally kinematic. Well, I don't know. I, my unknown is change in x. What I do know is time. I know acceleration. And I know initial velocity. Is there an equation that relates position, initial velocity, acceleration, and time? You betcha. Change in x is equal to the initial velocity times time plus 1 half at squared. Initial velocity is zero. The acceleration is 0 0.55 meters per second squared, and the time is four seconds. Change in x, one half, 0.55 times four seconds squared. How far did the father pull the children? We're almost there. We can do it. We've come this far. Come on, folks. Let's wrap this thing up. I get 4.4 4 meters. Woo! I'm not sure who's more tired, me from solving that problem or the dad that pulled his kids in the sled. Let's recap. Folks, we started with a force body diagram, OK? We went ahead and we wrote out, we thought about accelerations in both the x and y direction. Should forces be balanced or unbalanced? If, there were, if they were balanced, we know our F net in that direction was zero. If they were unbalanced, we had to make it equal to MA because we weren't sure if it was equal to zero or not. After that, we went ahead and we wrote F net expressions. From the F net expressions, we decided to solve for every force in both the y and x direction. We did that so that we could figure out, is, is the sled accelerating? If the F net equation, if the net force was not zero, we knew it was, in fact, accelerating. Because we had an F net of 44, there must have been an acceleration. What was that acceleration? Net force over mass gave us this acceleration. And then? Because I understand physics, and I know that if I'm thinking time and distance, that's kinematics, I went ahead and I used a kinematics equation to plug in my knowns, solve for my unknown, and I found that the change in position or distance traveled by this dad and his children on that sled was 4.4 meters. That's the recap. That's the example problem. You have the tools to go work on worksheet four and finish up worksheet four. Good luck. See ya.